Hello everyone. It is known that alchemists have been searching for centuries for the elixir of immortality. Yes, many years before the book, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone appeared on the bookshelves all over the world. In ancient Greece, Egypt, China and medieval times, scientists dreamed of immortality and searched with renewed vigor for the desired recipe. Naturally, we still don't know how to be immortal, despite the advanced modern technology. However, some people still possess, if not the secret of eternal youth, then the recipe for longevity. What is it then? Today, we'll talk about the oldest people on the planet and how they managed to live to such an advanced age. Let's get it on. Swami Sivananda when Abu Dhabi airport staff opened this passenger's passport at the counter, no one could believe what they saw. None of those present had ever seen anything like it. The man's date of birth dated back to the 19th century. And if it's true, then they were looking at the oldest man on the planet at the time. Swami Sivananda was traveling from Kolkata to London with a stop in the United Arab Emirates. But this man from India almost missed his second flight. Airport officials simply couldn't believe that his passport was real. According to it, his date of birth was August the 8th, 1896. Thus, at the time of the incident, the man was 123 years old. In the end, security agents checked the old man's passport for a long time, but found no signs of forgery. Sivananda arrived in London without any problems and became famous all over the internet. But the most interesting thing about this person is not his date of birth. It's the fact that this man doesn't actually look so old. Sivananda has an active lifestyle, travels constantly and feels great. The man says that he doesn't remember the last time he was sick and that he solves all of his health problems only with the help of meditation. <laughs> He states his physical and mental health are the product of a modest childhood. In addition, as a young man, Sivananda spent a lot of time in the mountains, talking to Buddhist monks who taught him many secrets of life. Thus, the man learned to get rid of the negative emotions that, according to him, take away many years of life from most people. Today, people line up to learn the basics of Sivananda's longevity, but he claims that his recipe is based on discipline. It includes controlling his emotions, yoga as regular exercise, exercise, a healthy diet, and celibacy. Hester Ford this amazing woman is the oldest resident of the United States. Hester was born in South Carolina in 1904, at a time when you could still see pedestrians on horseback in the streets, and Theodore Roosevelt had been president for a couple of years. At that time, life expectancy among Americans was 47 years. During her lifetime, this woman gave birth to 12 children, became a grandmother 58 times, and a great-grandmother 120 times. And while it is sometimes said that today frequent births greatly reduce a woman's life expectancy. Okay. Hester's example shows otherwise. Although official records say her age is 114, her family says she's 115. Imagine just how many events of global importance Hester has experienced in her lifetime, and not just both world wars. <laughs> Throughout her life, she saw almost two dozen American presidents. When Hester was 21, only half of all homes in the United States had electricity. It was a luxury that people couldn't afford back then, and now it's a basic comfort that we don't even pay attention to. Bob Waiton Britain's oldest resident was born on the 29th of March 1908. Today, he's 111 years old. Bob is a former teacher and engineer. He jokes that he managed to reach such an advanced age by just avoiding dying. The old man leads a modest life in a retirement home in Alton, doesn't like the attention of the press, gives all of his money to charity, and even rejects the birthday cards from the Queen. Waiton has two sons, one daughter, 10 grandchildren, and 25 great-grandchildren. Bob has undergone surgery several times and has overcome severe flu and even malaria, so he's had a good chance of ending up in the afterlife. However, the man is more alive than ever and seems very optimistic. He has a positive attitude towards all modern technologies and above all is fascinated by video calls. For his last birthday, he even arranged a Skype session with students from a school in Taiwan where he'd worked in the 1930s. So what's the secret to Bob's longevity? In his own words, luck, having a job you enjoy and a positive attitude. Katerina Kanaru 
The oldest woman in Greece ranks sixth on the list of oldest people in the world and was born in the village of Grillos on the Peloponnese Peninsula on the 25th of July 1905. Today, she's 114 years old, although the woman herself says that she no longer remembers her exact age. Katerina Karnaru's long life spans the entire modern history of Greece, and during her life, she had to face many difficulties. However, the main support during the darkest moments of her life, says the woman, were her friends and family. Katerina outlived her husband and even some of her children, but she's not lost faith in people and continues to live happily, surrounded by her grandchildren. Kane Tanaka it is impossible to say with certainty who actually is the oldest person on the planet. There are many people in the world who claim to have lived longer than this woman, but they must prove it somehow. In the meantime, let's meet another super centenarian, Kane Tanaka, a woman from Japan born on the 2nd of January 1903 and officially considered the oldest person on the planet. As you know, the average life expectancy in Japan is 84 years, much higher than in many other countries. But Tanaka has broken all records and is now almost 117 years old. Curiously, Kane was born prematurely, although that didn't affect her life. The story of her life is like a real novel. In 1922, she married a man she saw for the first time the day of the wedding. Despite this, the marriage turned out to be very strong. The couple had four kids and adopted a fifth child. Kane had her own shop where she served rice cakes and noodles. She worked there until she was 63. During World War II, which claimed the lives of her husband and son, she kept working as well. More than 15 years ago, the woman was diagnosed with a terrible disease, colon cancer. It seems that she had no chance of surviving. However, the woman managed to overcome the disease and continues to live healthily. Today, Kane lives in a retirement home, moves with the help of a walker, but thinks very clearly. According to her, religion has helped her to live to such an advanced age. And there's something else. No, it's not eating well and exercising all the time. The woman says that the secrets of longevity Longevity lies in the right environment, and since she is not the only one who mentions it, we should all probably think what kind of people we let into our lives. Lucille Randon a few years ago, Lucille Randon, better known as Sister Andre, became the oldest resident of France, her home country, and of all of Europe as well. The woman was born on February 11th, 1904, and in February 2019, she turned 115. On her birthday, she received a personal letter and a blessed rosary from Pope Francis. As a young woman, Lucille worked as a governess and a nurse in a hospital, and in 1979, she became a nun. She worked in several monasteries for decades and now lives in a nursing home in Toulon. The sister admits that she can barely see now and moves in a wheelchair, but every day she finds reasons to enjoy life. For example, the opportunity to pray. Lucille also loves to eat chocolate, despite it being bad for her health. Maria Branias this 112-year-old abuela, born in 1907, still remembers the First World War and is considered Catalonia's oldest resident. She's revealed that during the war, her family returned to Spanish territory from the United States by sea. The journey was very difficult. At that time, German troops were attacking Europe from the north, and people had to find other ways to return to their homeland. Maria says that the world obviously has changed a lot since she was young. Today, it's much easier for people to communicate with each other, but at the same time, they might mostly care just about money. Our lives were much quieter and happier, she says. Unfortunately, it's hard to disagree with her on that issue. Ruth Cunson. How old do you think this lady working out at the gym is? If these images don't motivate you to go to the gym, chances are that no one can help you. This amazing woman named Ruth is 103 years old, and she goes to the gym every Friday. Her workouts don't look like what we're used to seeing in sports areas in parks. Ruth works on the same machines as the rest of the visitors on a par with 20-year-olds. Ruth was born in 1916 and retired at 81. Throughout her life, she devoted herself to microbiology, writing 150 scientific articles and five books. For her, it is very important to maintain physical health for longevity, but mental health is no less important. The most interesting thing is that Ruth smoked almost all of her life, doesn't follow any special diet, and every night she has a glass of white wine before going to bed. What's her secret? It's simple. Passion for her work and a positive attitude. And as you can see, it works. Psst. 
Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.